When I see the logo, I think of the last time I stayed at one, which was the Ritz-Carlton, I believe, in Philly, and it was amazing. And also, I think of the most extreme story I know about the Ritz-Carlton, which is Joshi. Now, Joshi is a giraffe and a poorly stuffed one at that. And he was left at the Ritz-Carlton Amelia Island Resort in Florida. Beautiful resort, have been there a few times. It was great, and he was left there by a child. Did I, did I have to say child? You assumed it was a child, right? It was like 47-year-old with his, where's Joshi? And so the family flew home after their vacation to Phoenix where they live, and they realized they left Joshi at the hotel. What happens? when your child loses their favorite thing. Listen, listen to the sound. Those are mumbling parents right now. Then we have to go the whole thing, we got three days, it's just a giraffe. How many of you have kids that you know about? You need to form a search party. You need to elect volunteer leaders of each committee to find this thing. You need to find out if you can buy another one somewhere and then just rub it in the worst things in the world so it looks the same. So the father did what any good father would do in this scenario, and he uh, lied to his son, and he said that Joshi was on an extended vacation, which I thought was great in the pinch, right? Like, I was like, kudos, Dad. You, you, you really did what you're supposed to do, except you've only bought yourself like a week, right? Because the one thing I know about kids, they don't frickin' forget, right? I forgot what I just said three sentences ago. But your kid will never forget. They'll bring it up like, at your funeral <laughs> that you didn't get Joshy back. So, so you bought yourself a week, and if, if you don't find him, what do you do at the end of the week? Well, he determined he doesn't love you, and he's staying at the Ritz-Carlton for the rest of his life. So he calls up the Ritz-Carlton, and he begs, and he pleads, and he prays that they found him, and they did. Now, that should be the end of the story. That could be the end of my talk because somebody just got something back they lost in a hotel. If you stay in a lot of hotels, you know, like me, this is, my life is on the road. I only speak at conferences. What I'm trying to tell you is I don't have a, like, I, I don't have a job. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, like, I've lost 23 phone chargers in hotel rooms this year. <laughs> and so you know you're not usually gonna get it back, but not only did they find him, and not only did they overnight him back to the awaiting child at no charge to the parents, but they also sent back photos of his extended vacation. <laughs> it's Joshy by the pool meeting, <laughs> doing the perfect man spread. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? You know. This is Joshy by the bar. <laughs> the dolphin is inappropriate. <laughs> this is Joshy working in loss prevention. Because the person who found, so Joshy was found in the laundromat. Somebody working in the laundromat found him in the sheets rolled up. By the way, that's where everything is. If you lose in the hotel, if you're lost in your hotel room, in the sheets. And then they brought it to loss prevention, and the loss prevention associate did this. And now that he works for the Ritz-Carlton, they had to make him an ID badge. <laughs> it's laminated. If you didn't say ah just now, or did not have the emotional response, like had a little bit of a tingle in the back of your neck, you're what's known in the industry as a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Therapy's a great choice. If you felt nothing for this, it's a good indicator right now that, talk to somebody, just talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Okay, great. They took Joshi, a letter from the general manager, thanking the child for allowing Joshi to extend his stay, a photo album, album, for millennials and under. Those were things we used to put photos in. It's like your phone, but sticky pages that you had to pull off and put in, and then they would fade slowly and turn to like, like a urine pale color. <laughs> but grandma was proud, so you had to look at them. But this is the thing, they, they not only did all, they went above and beyond. So what do you think the father did when he got the package? 
What did he do, other than change his pants? What did he do? <laughs> he told everybody, yes? He told his neighbors, he phoned people, he texted people, he told everybody. He told everybody he could, and then he blogged about it, which is where I saw it. People want word of mouth. They want people talking about their business. You want people talking about yours. But we forget the one thing that makes word of mouth happening is doing things worth talking about. Vayner Speakers.